All right, we're going to start and do some division problems today using the box method. You should have a lined piece of paper in front of you. And now we're going to write the problem. 678 divided by 4 equals what? All right, we can see here that there are lines, so we're going to use these lines to make our box. So we know that there is a ones, a tens, and a hundreds place. So as we're drawing our box, if we just move down two lines and then over maybe a third of the page, we should have a large enough box. All right. So we need a ones, a tens, and a hundreds place. And I'm going to label those as well. Remember, at any time you can pause the video to catch up to what I'm writing. Alrighty. Now we have our equation. 678. We need to put that inside the box. 678. And we are dividing that, divided by 4. So 4 is on the outside of our division sign. Now, one thing that you need to remember is that our hundreds place actually is going to be everything over here. Our tens place is going to be everything above and below the column that has seven. So this will still be the tens place and this will still be the tens place. And same with the ones. All right, let's begin. When we divide, we always start in the largest place. In this problem, this is the hundreds place. So we have 600 divided by four. What is six divided by four? If we have six and we put them into four groups, there is one in each group. One, let's check ourselves. One times four is Four. Hopefully you wrote that down even before I did. One times four is four. So when we put 100 in each group, we had used four hundredths. How many hundreds are left that we have not used? There's two hundreds left that we have not used. So what do we do with these two hundreds that we have left? We have to regroup them. Let's regroup this two into the tens place because two hundreds equals 20 tens. Now we have our 20 tens plus the seven that were already there, which is how we get 27 tens. All right. 27 divided by 4. And if this is tricky for you, just go ahead and skip count by 4s until you get to a number that is close to 27, but not larger than it. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, Okay, we went over 27. So we know 27 is going to be here. So that's like us saying we use four when we, four tens when we put one in each group. We used eight tens when we put two in each group. 12 when we put three in each group. 16 tens when we put four in each group. 20 tens when we put five tens in each group and 24 tens are used when we put six tens in each group 
So if we put six tens in each group, we know that six times four is, six times four is 24. I'm lining them up. Then I'm saying, okay, I used 24 tens when I put them into groups of six in each group, and there's four groups. How many tens are left? Well, seven minus four is three, and two minus two is nothing. So we have three tens left over. What do we need to do with those three tens? We need to regroup them. Now we have 38 ones. So the question now is what is 38 divided by four? Or 38 put into four groups. So we still have our skip counting by four. So we know that if we already counted by fours to 24, let's keep going. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And we want to get to 38 without going over. 32, 36, 40. Okay, we just went over 38. So, six in each group used 24. Seven in each group used 28. Eight in each group used 32. Nine in each group used 36. And 10 in each group used 30, 40. But we have to stop because we can't go over 38. So we know, all right, if we put nine... <clears throat> In each of the four groups, 9 times 4 is 36. We will use 36 ones if we put 9 in each group. So are there any left over? Yeah, go ahead and subtract. There's 2 left over. So we have a remainder of two. What is 678 divided by four? 678 divided by four is 169 in each of the four groups and then two remaining. So if I had 169 four times, and I add those up, or if I multiply them, because that would have been a lot easier. Nine, four times, nine times four is 36. So I know this first column is 36. Six times four, is 24, 25, 26, 27. And then one times four is four plus two is six. And then if we add our two remaining, we get 678, which is exactly the number that we started with. That is why this works. All right, let's skip a few lines and try another problem. This time, we're going to do 148 divided by three. So let's draw our box. Remember, it can just be two lines on your paper. And then we will draw our ones, tens, and hundreds places. Go ahead and write the words ones, tens, and hundreds. If you need more time, pause the video. All right, now let's begin. Remember that even above and below, we're, we still have the same column. So this is the ones 
This is the tens and this is the hundreds. Let's write our problem inside. We have 148 divided by three. 148 divided by three. Pause the video if this is not done. All right, we have one. We have to start in the hundreds place because it's the largest place in case we need to regroup. We have 100. We cannot easily divide our 100 piece into three equal parts. So we know I can't do that. I need to say we are actually not gonna use any hundreds in each of the three groups. So I did not use any of the hundreds. So we still have our 100 left. This 100, we have to regroup into 10 tens. 100 is the same as 10 tens. There's already four tens there, so we have 14 tens. All right, now we have 14 divided by three. Let's count by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Oh, we went over fourteen. We got to stop there. All right. So how many times um, will these tens go into the three groups? If they each only went in one time, we would have three two times six, three times nine, and four times 12. So we know if we put four tens in each of our groups, and there are three groups, that we will use 12 tens. So we used 12 tens. Just in case you need a little visual, we have our four groups. If we put four tens in each group, one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, that is 12 tens total. That's how we got 12 tens. So we used 12 tens. How many tens do, do we need to regroup? Well, 14 minus 12 is two. So we need to regroup two tens. Two tens equals how many ones? It equals 20 ones. So our two is going in the tens place because now we have 20 ones plus the eight that are there, which is 28 ones. 28 divided by three, let's keep counting by threes till we get to 28. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Oh, we went over 28. So we know that 12 had four in each of the three groups. Five, 15 has five in each of the three groups. 18 has six in each of the three groups. 21 has seven in each of the three groups. 24 has eight in each of the three groups. And 27 has nine in each of the three groups. So if we used nine in each group, just to show you what that looks like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to put nine in each group. So in total, we used 27 ones because nine times three, nine three times is 27. How many do we have left? Well, if we subtract, we can find out we have one left over, and this is our remainder. Remainder one. So remember, if we have 
49 in each group. 49 three times. Let's check our work done here. 49 plus 49 plus 49. 9 times 3 is 27. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. Our original answer, our original starting number was 148. How can we get 148? If we add our remainder of 1. There was 1 left over that did not fit into our equal groups. So that would give us 148. Great job.